Good morning, uh, Maryville. Pastor Kim here from First United Methodist Church, uh, offering you a little devotion this morning, devotion at home. I'm sitting uh, by my this ficus tree and another one, which is on the other side of the living room, probably for about 20 years now and have uh, done our best to take care of them. Sitting by it because today is Palm Sunday and many of us are at home, uh, we'll hopefully be worshiping at home and getting our hearts ready for online worship, whatever way that that might be. And I'm uh, just encouraging you today to find something leafy and green that you can wave around. If you don't have any palm branches, uh, you can find just about anything that would work to raise a hallelujah and sing praises to God and the high hosannas. I've been looking through my uh, guide to prayer uh, for, for servants of God, and uh, today is Palm Sunday, so we open up and um, we have some reflections and some readings that I wanted to share with you this morning, beginning with an invocation that we might hearts right now in this very moment that we're here to worship God, that we're ready to worship God. We plant that seed in our spirit right now that when we turn on our online worship, whether it's Facebook Live or a recorded or something on television you're planning on watching, you've already ushered in the Holy Spirit into your own spirit to help you along the way. The beginning of Holy Week, um, and we know that our Lord went through wounds and sorrow, but today is a day of celebration because he entered into Jerusalem. And so we offer this prayer as we bow our hearts. Almighty God, you are the light and life of every soul and you are my only source of hope. Grant that in this time, this day, this celebration day where we worship, that we may experience your transforming power that prepares us for the mission and the purpose of the day ahead of Jesus. On this day, had set his eyes toward the end of the week suffering servant for each and every one of us. So we give this to you, Lord, as we rest our hearts in this day of celebration, this day of arriving, this day of receiving the King. We receive King Jesus into our spirit and we give you thanks. Amen. So some of the readings and reflections that we have today in our, in our book is um, one by John Wesley that you all might be familiar with, but um, I think it's a good one for us today as we ready our hearts for worship. John Wesley writes in his journal, In the evening I went unwillingly to a society in Aldersgate Street where one was reading Luther's preface to the epistle to the Romans. About a quarter before nine, while he was describing the change which God works in the heart through faith in Christ, I felt my heart strangely warm. I felt I did trust in Christ, Christ alone for salvation, and an assurance was given to me that he had taken away my sins, even mine and saved me from the law of sin and death. I think that's today, that we can hold in our spirits today. Uh, one of the readings that uh, is in lectionary comes from Psalm 118. And I want to read a little bit of Psalm 118 to you, and then just to kind of sign off and say, I hope you'll find a place to worship today online, and you'll find some greenery and you will lift up the greenery high or lay it at the feet of Jesus. Today, the entrance, the welcome, and the reception of the King of Kings. Psalm 118, beginning in verse 33. I'm going to back up. <laughs> Sorry. 
I turned the page, it's actually Psalm 118. Hang on, 118, beginning in verse 19. 19, 118, verse 19. Open to me the gates of righteousness, that I may enter through them, and give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord. The righteous shall enter through it. I thank you that you have answered me and have become my salvation. The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. The day the Lord has made, let us be rejoicing and be glad in it. Save us, we pray. O oh Lord, we pray, give us success. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord is God, and he has made his light to shine upon us. Bind the festivals with cords up to the horns of the altar. You are my God, and I will give thanks to you. You are my God, and I will extol you. O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. Oh, give thanks to the Lord. Love endures forever. Take care, friends. Find a place to worship. Wave some palm branches and experience the celebration, the goodness and the glory, the kindness of God right here in your own hearts. And then pass it on to those who are in your household this morning. Friends, take care. We'll see you soon.